Hey there lads and lassies, I hope you guys are doing brilliantly today. It is Dave here, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Habit, guys. So, um, we're about to begin, at the beginning of this episode, we're about to begin the class trial to investigate. We've done the, our investigation of the current murder and crime scene, but it's to find out who killed, well, unknown victim right now, but we believe it's either Mukuru Ikusaba or Kyoko. But based on what we've gathered, guys, I think it's more likely to be Mukuru Ikusaba is the victim. But we still haven't found Kyoko at all in this, really, this chapter. I don't think we've really seen Kyoko in this chapter since the very beginning of it. And then she's disappeared since. It's She's been gone for ages. As I said, we did, we finished off the investigation into the death of the body in the garden, botanics area, which we believe is possibly Mikuru Kasaba because of the Fenra tattoo that we saw on the body's hand. So uh, we've gathered quite a few clues and information and um, we've also found out that monokuma isn't actually dead but monokuma could actually be a robot like it could be several monokuma robots that are planted throughout the school so whether he's a living bear or not we don't know yet can't nothing confirmed yet and we still have no don't know much about the mastermind we believe it could be mukuru but it might not be it might be someone else that we don't know of yet we found all the clues that we needed to to at least progress the trial so we might as well get into it, guys. Um, so we, with Makoto, obviously we are Makoto, but I believe Biaki is with us just now, going to the trial because we kind of left together. So he might already be in there, but we might be going in together. Not a hundred percent sure about that. Just to sh quickly show you, we've got seventeen clues. We've got the Monokuma file, where uh, the cause of death is either a knife through the whole that went through the whole body in the stomach area or a blow to the head by some kind of object which they believe is a metal object but we're not sure um, the body was exploded by a bomb which came from a monokuma robot there was also fake nails i don't know how significant that's going to be and a tattoo of fenra bomb fragment and then other things related to the crime scene very curious about what the chicken has to do with this and Biaki's account about the alibis. We definitely need to find out Kyoko. And there's a lot of other things that don't make a lot of sense right now, like particularly this duct tape with the blood on it and the titanium arrows. And also, why was the key in Kyoko's room? A lot of unanswered shit, guys. So, so the only mysteries now is to obviously solve this class trial correctly, but we also need to find Kyoko. Um, Maybe she'll be at the trial here because she's supposed to be but who knows guys because we haven't seen her at all since the beginning of the chapter I said let's do this let's solve the mystery solve the murder and complete the next class trial so go through the room as usual oh or whoa Byakuya and Makoto showed up together all right okay I was gonna say because Biakia wasn't there in the background. It wasn't in the frame there. I was like, where is he? So Biakia's with us. So we've got Biakia, Makoto, Hiro, Toko, and Aoi. So the only ones were the only person we're missing is Kyoko, since well, I think the the victim is Mukuru Ikusaba, but I could be wrong. We've got to use the evidence and find out. So we shoot up, yeah? Oh. Where the heck have you two been? You just disappeared without a word. Hmm. We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? Yeah! Makoto's ranked high enough for you guys to go off to together? Just the two of you? <laughs> she's she's into, she's into got her boys' love fantasies going. She, dude, I don't think Makoto and Byaki are in some kind of yaoi relationship. I don't think so. Huh? What? Are you jealous? Hey. Or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself? Yes. What? Stop talking and brace yourselves. He'll be here any second. Uh, guessing she means Monokuma? That's usually what happens, I think. I think he's done that throughout the, all the trials. He's shown up. Or at least told us to go in the lift. Any second. He could show up at any time. When I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. But... Oh... Sounds like something different's happening compared to the other trials. 
We stood there for five full minutes, waiting for something weird to happen. Okay. And then five minutes became ten. Oh, Monokuma's stalling. He's letting them sit there and think and, you know, keeping them on edge. But what's stopping them from going in the lift anyway? What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma shown up yet? Could it be? Maybe he died again. I doubt that. Hmm. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here, or...? You could go down in the lift. I'm guessing there's nothing to stop you. Oh, there he is. He showed up anyway. Oh, what? Jesus! <laughs> did I scare you? I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? What? I made you wait? You've got it all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. Huh? In other words, I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here, now can we? That is actually very true. The, the class trial is meant to have all the students. So we're supposed to have Kyoko here and we're supposed to apparently now have Mukuru Ikusaba now that her existence has been con fully confirmed to everyone. But um, depends who the victim is for certain, I guess. Huh? What are you t talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for you. How can you guys not figure out that Kyoko is not there if she's not the corpse? <laughs> Sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> but I've been waiting 10 minutes now, so it's okay if I punish the one making us all wait, right? Ooh. Uh-oh. Shit. If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange a punishment right now. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. I'm doing the voice because I'm assuming it is Kyoko. When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. Hey. I'm here, and no rules been broken. So there we go. Kyoko confirmed not the dead person. K Kyoko! Kyoko, you're still alive. No, that's a g -g 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 ghost. Zoink, Scoob, run! Stop the talking. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some of the fun for later, right? What? Well, now you. This throws a spanner in the works for Biakia and the, and the investigation. Because the victim is definitely not Kyoko now. But is it okay that there's no particular penalty for being late? Is that right? I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? You're so selfish. So spoiled. You're right. There's no penalty, officially. But I bet you'll be sorry later. No. I'll make sure you're sorry later. Oh, shit. Rawr. Anyway, hustle your butts onto the elevator. I'll be just one step ahead of ya. When Monokuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. Kyoko? So you really didn't die? Indeed. Of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank God. I'm so glad you're okay. Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us because right? they need to find out who did it and <sighs> the only ones without airtight alibis, according to Biakia, is Makoto and Kyoko. Huh? He's right, now we've got to deal with the g -g ghost oh, For fuck's sake, hero. I told you, stop to talking. Let's go. Come on, let's just go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without ever looking directly at Kyoko, Byakuya stepped into the elevator because he suspects her. My master will wait for me! Uh, um... Good call. Who knows what might happen to us if we take too long. Uh, true. But... I'll be happy when this trial is all over. One after another, everyone piled into the elevator. But I... I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. Ooh, that's brave, considering Monoguma is already in a bad mood. But, oh well. 
I guess these two share the most information between each other because they trust each other. Well, we trust Kyoko. Whether Kyoko trusts Makoto, I don't know. Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Oh, she's not going to say a word, is she? Where have you been this whole time? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So... Correct. I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor... Oh, that staircase with the shutter. That key opened there? The second floor? That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. I had no idea a body had been discovered. So she's saying she knows nothing. Hmm, okay. Then, when did you find out? So... Just now. I finished my search and came back down, just in time to hear the class trial announcement. So essentially, that should mean that Kyoko has no idea about this case. So essentially, this case is up to Byakuya and Makoto now, really. Okay. I took some time to go over the crime scene. Oh. Oh, she... She did a very quick five-minute investigation, did she? It took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to a trial completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were late. However... I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you're on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key you found goes to. Wrong. Actually... To be precise, not quite. In other words... I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. Oh, she's got a master key for the school. Oh, interesting. What? Kyoko's account has been added to the truth bullet session. All right, because I'm guessing that Byakuya is going to completely accuse Kyoko and we have to fight back, I guess. Okay. Just a second. But then... Uh, who did it? Who did it? There's no, there's no obvious person who's done this. Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma. She has Makoto. a point. We can go over all the details after we get through the trial, okay, Makoto? Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. Oh, for you, huh? Okay. For her. That's a strange way to put it. I think we're going to get more information about Kyoko throughout this trial, or at least at the end. The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? Very good question, Makoto. Hopefully we'll get an answer. Goodbye. Well, if that's all... Seemingly unconcerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? No, I think you should be concerned about what she said. I have a bad feeling about what might happen between Makoto and Kyoko. Or the others. Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. So this is going to be a weird situation that the, with the elevator going down, because no one has died within the group, really. And the door slid shut. Yeah, it's still the same amount of people that were there before, but apparently I was, we got to assume that the dead person is now Mukuru Ikusaba. This time, the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to the mental pressure that comes from preparing for an execution. In that dusky du darkness, nobody said a word. We just stood there, silent and still. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. Ooh. What has he done to the trial room this time? But it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. Oh shit, what is going on? It was the blinding light of despair. Uh oh. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. I can't wait. Oh my god, he's turned it into Tetris! What have you done to this place, Monica? Ah! I've been waiting for this! I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this! That's been a while, I guess. 
The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Kills, chills, kills. Let's get on with the show. And so the curtain opened for the fifth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Begin! Uh, yes, thank you very much. I will. Uh, I guess I'll just do that one. Right, um, well, I could open the handbook, but I don't think... So we got all our evidence as we've shown. So we've got to use this to whatever way the trial goes, I guess. So uh, let me just read the bottom bit. I don't, I don't think I've done it for all the trials, but here we go. Memories float back. Kyoko is gone and a mysterious masked body appears. I don't know why the text is jittering like that. Uh, the threads holding them all together begin to spin and twine into one. Huh. Interesting way of putting things. Okay, set the skills. Right, I don't, I haven't really earned any other skills from anyone, but I have now got an extra three skill points. So I should be able to add another skill. So I might be able to add Biakia's skill. I don't think I've got any others to add. Nope, so we'll just add Cool and Composed. Sweet, so we've got another skill. So it steadies your aim a little. Affects during the non-stop debate and the hangman's gambit. Okay, well that's cool. Uh, so that's it, yep. Okay, we're ready. Let's begin the trial. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Yep, and it's the fifth murder case as we're spinning around. <laughs> if you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay, well, I'll leave the rest up to you. Oh, that's interesting. Monokuma's not leading us in the starting direction of this trial. He's just letting us get on with it. Okay, well, here we go, guys. Let's begin the trial. Well, then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. Yeah, I guess we should kind of decide who died. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. Makes sense. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. <sighs> Can we just bar Hero from the trials? Seriously, can we just get rid of him from the trials? He is very much useless from the trials. <sighs> no. But Kyoko's standing right there. <laughs> I like that. It's Toko saying it, but it focuses on Kyoko. No, that's a ghost! <sighs> Hero, no, it's not. But she has legs and stuff. Ghosts, I'm pretty sure, can have legs. Well, then again, we've not ever. Ghosts, ghosts not real life. Let's, let's not go down that. Let's not go down that roof, route, but okay. Well, that's just because... Yeah, I'd love to hear your explanation about this hero. How is it a ghost? Seems like the latest evolution in ghost technology. Yeah, sure. There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. <laughs> I, I, for once, I agree with Viakia. Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Okay, yeah, we, I think we can do that. Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Her traits? Mm-hmm. One important trait Kyoko has that proves the body doesn't belong to her. Uh, Kyoko's face, Kyoko's glove. It has to be, has to be the gloves, right? I got it. I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. Well, Monokuma did. And would you happen to know the answer? Apparently, we do. In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently, you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh. 
Hmm, she doesn't seem to want to tell anybody about this. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Correct. They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. Hero, you're being extremely evasive. Hmm. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. Right, okay. There's no way that corpse was Kyoko. But if I can't prove why, we're going to be stuck here and the case won't move forward. So I don't have any choice but to begin a non-stop debate. Make the arguments. Tattoo in the right hand, exploded body analysis, the fake nails. Straight away with three bullets as well. That Kyoko there is just a ghost. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Because that corpse is absolutely Joko. This entire discussion is idiotic. I know that body isn't Kyoko's, and I know I can prove it. Tattoo on the right hand's not right. Exploded body analysis? No. I guess it's this then? This doesn't seem right, but I guess it must be. Oh, it is! Hmm. I, I get it, it proves it's not really Kyoko, but that's still no, a bit weird. There's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Oh, I get it, because some nails were lost. All oh, right, I get it. God, I'm an idiot. Sometimes. Whatever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? Mm hmm. I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Oh, yeah, that's true as well, I guess. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? Mm hmm It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? They're complicated like that. Oh, my God. Um, I think Kyoko and Toko are probably going to take offense to that, dude. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. <laughs> yeah, very true. Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? Mm-hmm. These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. Okay. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Okay, that's it. Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? First, we need to figure that out. I think we know who it is, to be honest. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Before anything, we have to identify the victim, yes. Everything starts from there. Here we go again. Sprinkles the exploded body analysis, the tattoo on the right hand, okay. It's gotta be the tattoo. Yoko really is still alive. Then who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. Her face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body... Then there's nothing else we can do, right? Right, okay, I think I know who, which one. No one thinks... And the one thing it can tell us was on the victim's own body. Kyoko yeah, really this is definitely the tattoo. Then who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the monochromo Oh, if we can't identify the body... Then there's nothing oh, else we can man. do, right? Right, I need to earn some influence Yoko back. Really is still alive. Then who died? There's gotta 
be some way to figure it out. How gruesome. The face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Oh, if we can't identify the body... Got ya. No, that's wrong. There was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? For real? Yeah. If you're lying, you'll die a cruel and unusual death. By you, Toko Genocide Jill, or Monokuma? Cruel and unusual death? This I gotta see. N no. She's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Oh, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Mm hmm. Her master must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. Whoa, okay, Toko. Tone it down a little. Seriously? You really did something that humiliating? No. No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Oh, really? Yeah. If you compare the tattoo to other information we have, the victim's identity should become clear. Should be... It might be Biakia's account. Or oh, it could be a profile. It has to be a profile. Yeah, it has to be the profile. I got it. Yeah. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Okay, so... Yeah, I suppose that doesn't mean much to the rest of them. To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Mm -hmm. Fenrir? They don't know who Fenrir is. Okay, makes sense. The image that represents Fenrir is... Oh, it's the Hangman's Gambit. Wolf. Yeah, it's Wolf. Well, that was quick and easy. The representation of Fenrir is... A wolf. Mm-hmm. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world-ending wolf face. Yep, correct. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and the female giant. Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all-star. Yeah. And that means... The victims of Kurui Kusaba. Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Yeah. Hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? Guess not. <laughs> But you're absolutely right! Oh, Monokuma's confirmed to us now that Mukuru Kusaba is the victim and she's not the mastermind. Yes, indeed! The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba! Oh, well, that's right then. Are you saying the mastermind is dead? And now we have to have a cool last trial? I don't think he's going to tell you anything about that. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. Yeah. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Apparently she's not the ultimate despair. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. Mm hmm After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. Yeah. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... Oh, Kyoko. 
Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? Yeah. Yeah, you did, Kyoko. Why? So that means Kyoko got it wrong? Which has never happened, apparently. Apparently so. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more details. I, yeah. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Oh. Yeah. Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Correct. One of the other students. She was the 16th. Then who's the real mastermind? Well, at the moment we've just got to assume it's Monokuma and Monokuma alone until we're proven otherwise. Well, yeah, if we find out whoever that is, if it's not Monokuma. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. Oh, right, okay then, tell us. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. Hmm. My information was not wrong. So, why do you still call her the ultimate despair, but we've got evidence saying she's the ultimate soldier? Okay, okay! We're in the middle of a trial right now! Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost! Alright. This is strange. Monokuma is putting in a lot more participation in the trial than he normally does. He's tr trying to hurry it along, which is not usual for him. And he's trying to make us avoid talking about things that are irrelevant. Hmm. He seems in a bit of a hurry. Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible! Why, are we on a schedule? Fine. Uncovering the identity of the Mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. Oh? No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. Oh, Mr. Togami has spoken. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Oh, that was aimed at Monokuma, not... <laughs> that was aimed at Monokuma, not Kyoko. Okay. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. Right. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Yeah. Hammer that point straight into your big old brains. Okay. What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Oh, right, yeah, this is what we need to know. Then, one of us killed Mukuro? That's, guess that's what he's getting at. Wait, no! There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along! Eh, don't think so. I think Monokuma would have told that, told us that already. Nope! There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events! Yep, there we go. Seriously? Then, one of us killed Mukuro? Apparently so. Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Yes, and let me guess, Biaki, you're gonna say it's either Makoto or Kyoko. Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Yeah, uh-oh. Based on what we know, there can only be two suspects. Makoto and Kyoko. Makoto and the headmaster, Togo and Genocide. Narrowed it down to Yoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden, so I can confirm that at that point there was no dead body there. So the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. Right. However. Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? Oh, she seems surprised at that. That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. Mm -hmm. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. Right. A 
All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis... ...are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Right, okay. Exactly so. That makes sense. So what are you going to say, um, Kyoko, to counteract Byakuya? That's what you normally do. Kyoko, are you going to throw some evidence to counteract your, his accusations? So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Yeah, I guess so, dude, at the moment. Damn it. I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Oh, okay, right. I'm gonna tell them about the dream now, Makona? Are you thinking of raising an objection? Don't think so. Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Yeah. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Okay. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. In the evening, okay. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Right, okay. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body. So all night, essentially, because you didn't find it till 9 a.m. Oh, but what time did we find the body? 9 a.m. The one who saw the body first was Toko, right? And she went to go get the pickaxe. Mm-hmm. So what time was the body discovered? At 9 o'clock. I got it! The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Yeah. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Well, well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. Yep. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit. So I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. Mm -hmm. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... 7.30 a.m.? Oh yeah, right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. Pretty much. The murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m., and I don't have an alibi from 10 p.m. till 7.30 a.m. Okay then, it looks like the game has begun. If I can't provide an alibi for that period, I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. That sounds complicated. To do that, I have to make it clear when the body ended up in the garden. Oh, is this where the tarp comes into play? Because that could suggest the body was moved. Sprinklers, exploded body analysis. Fragments near the dead body. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 730. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. Something has yeah, I know what it is. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. Shit. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between... No, it's wrong! Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. 
It had to have taken place way later. Yeah. And what makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30... Yeah, it would have been soaking. Then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on. I remember this part perfectly. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. That was after we doused water Sorry, in it. Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such a decent word? <laughs> what the fuck, Toko? Oh my god, that, uh... Wow. Uh, that conversation went somewhere. Uh, don't read too much into that, anyone. <laughs> body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. By denying the sprinkler, are you trying to deny my entire existence? For God's sake, Toko, calm down. Man, you're totally wacko. You haven't figured that already, Hero? If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, you better tell us why! I suppose this makes sense, though, because Toko was out cold because genocide jill was there at that point i need to prove that it wasn't the sprinklers that got the body wet all i have to do is hit toko with certain evidence and that should do it oh is this a battle is this a bullet time battle if you look at the body itself that should make it clear oh god it's, it is it's a bullet time battle oh man Yeah, I was pressing the wrong button. I was pressing the wrong button. No one, no wonder I got the wrong. Nobody believes me. Nobody wants to hear what I have to say. Uh oh, have we already come to the end of the debate? Well then, the class trial is officially adjourned. Now it's time to reveal who's the blackened. It would appear that the one with the most votes is Makoto. However, Makoto is not the blackened. Too bad. Looks like the real killer gets to graduate. Congratulations to them. Typo. On the other hand, everyone else must now be punished. Is, is the... Yeah, no. Of course I do. I, refuse to give up I was pressing the wrong button. I was pressing the square button. It should be the triangle button. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's try this BTB again. remember what the body was like after the explosion and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers the top half of the body was wet yes but the bottom half was completely dry yeah if the sprinklers got the body wet shouldn't the whole body have been wet correct so they only got the top wet the bottom was completely dry what a for God's sake, Toko, stop thinking um, down south. Get your mind out the gutter. I'm so sick of her. <laughs> Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet was because... While the body was still on fire, 
I doused it with water. But only the part on fire, the top half. Oh, then I guess the sprinklers really didn't do it. Yeah. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place. Uh, so if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, that means the murder must have taken place after 7.30 a.m. Sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. So that means the person Mukuru Ikasawa was murdered between half seven in the morning and nine o'clock in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at nine. Correct. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7.30 this morning, right? So essentially, Makoto's innocent. So there's no way Makoto could have done it! I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you! <laughs> In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. And she's not being very vocal. Kyoko's the only one without an alibi. Which would mean that Mukuro's killer is... No, I refuse to believe it. Kyoko murders someone? That's... I'd just like to say one thing. Oh? Okay. Are you gonna reveal something to us now? If you vote for me, and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. What? Is this some kind of get out of jail card she's trying to pull here? Or does she really know some secrets? If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay for him forever. But she's essentially, she hasn't denied that she did it. So did you do it, but you're trying to encourage us not to vote for you? Oh, this is weird, right? If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. Well, the point is, Kyoko, did you actually murder Mukuru? Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. Okay. This is a trap the Mastermind has laid for us. Oh. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now... You decide to blame me? Oh, ho, ho. Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? It might be a trap by Monokuma, though. Shut up, you! <laughs> you got it, boss! Shutting up now! Ikopiaki a boss. Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Oh? Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. Yeah. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? What a sense of justice, she'd be a hero, but take the hit? Uh, not 100% convinced by that. Any of you could have done that. Why particularly Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So, that was her motive? Not convincing, I don't think. If she had a motive, and no alibi, well then... I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. Hmm. She's not saying anything, though. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. She's trying to shift the blame on us? Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. I suppose that's true, but this this is the first time Kyoko and Makoto are working against each other. That's that's interesting. What are you Because you see? There is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. The tarp. Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. She found the tarp as well. A certain something at the scene was used to cover the body. Could it have been... It's the tarp, isn't it? I 
got it. You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. Mm -hmm. You're right. All you have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. True. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. Oh wow, she's pretty adamant about that. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. Okay, good point. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? To mess up when you think the time of death was, dude. Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Right, so you are essentially suspecting Makoto at this point. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Why would Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? No, I can't think about that right now. That tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body, right? But it was covered in blood, so there should have been blood stain on the tarp. But the body. Wait, something's not right. Mm -hmm. And what might that be? I can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. Oh, wow, is this a BTB? No, it's still an argument, but we might have to have a BTB with Kyoko. Body before the explosion, it has to be. covering the body with the tarp, the killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side was the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. No, it's wrong. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Yeah. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. Yeah. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Yeah. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. But then they would, why would the other side be dirty? If they had, they would have washed both sides. Thus washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh! Yeah, true. Moron. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? The chicken. Huh? The blood was... Camouflage. What if, after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim? You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? I know where. I know. They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. Well, that's not a bad guess, but no. That's what Ifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? No, that's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. They got blood from right there in the garden, right? Which must mean... Chicken coop chickens. I got it! Could it have been chicken blood? Mm-hmm. What? Chicken blood? When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. But after the murder, there were only four. S so, you're saying so 
someone kill the chicken and then cover the body with its blood? I think so. Man, that's messed up. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. <laughs> get that protein while you're at it. Mm. I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. I suppose that makes sense. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Yeah, true. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? Yeah. But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. If they covered it up. But the sprinklers would have washed it away. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. But if it was covered, then yeah. Hmm. Interesting. That's a good point. I have to agree. That certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. Hmm. They covered it beforehand? Hmm. When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Well, that would be an answer we need from Toko. Um, I think so. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, it's inside the out. Was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Oh. All right. Yeah, the head was through the neck hole, but the arms went... Ah, he's right, the arms aren't in the sleeves. But also, it looks as if the coat might be inside, like, wrong way around. Not inside out, but the wrong way around. Then that settles it. Oh? Sorry, I'm having a tough time keeping What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off. Right. But the body didn't get wet, because the killer covered it with the tarp. Right. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they'd already covered in blood. Right. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. Okay. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off, at 7.30. Okay. Right, okay. Getting this so far. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But to pull all that off, mm -hmm. wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? Mm. That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. I suppose. Like, only, not everyone, there's, not everyone has an alibi from 7.30 onwards. Huh? They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. Okay. They'd be done in no time. Right. Maybe, but still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Um, I think we did. Oh no, I headed off to the gym and Makoto didn't show up till later. Oh shit, yeah, she's right. Oh no. Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? Wow, she's really trying to blame Makoto. Holy shit, you bitch. <laughs> That's not... Don't bother saying it's not possible. It's not possible, but he's, I think he's trying to say it's not true. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. Oh, shit. Da da da. And the suspicion falls back on me again. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? Because she's not as so nice as you think, dude. I don't understand. Oh.
Wait, what? We're getting an update to a clue now? Disguised dead body has been added to the truth bullet section of your hand, but all right, I suppose that is a new clue we've kind of discovered. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 odds. You really are an idiot, dude. If that You can't rely on a head or tails coin for a luck. If you get it wrong, you're all fucked. Oh. Ah, we don't even agree with him. See? Pretty good idea, right? No, it isn't. No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. All right, Owie, lay on us. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? All right, okay, yeah. One we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? Yeah. According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. Okay. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. Oh no. This is gonna further lead the suspicion onto Makoto, isn't it? That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remembered. It's the knife you gave to Makoto. Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I did, don't want it anyway. Hmm, so what to do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? It's Kyoko planted it on us. Hmm. Huh? Me? It's the knife we gave to Makoto? Yeah, that's not good for Makoto. Yeah, this is further putting the suspicion on him. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just... I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. Yeah, he still hasn't verified to himself whether it's a dream or real. I'm going to say it was real. You better tell them, dude. It might save your life. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. He's dazed from his dream that he might have, actually. I doubt it, though. Suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. Well, thousand percent convinced. Oh shit. Considering everything up to now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. Okay, here we go again. The sky's dead body, the exploded body and ass fragments near the dead body. Knife found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man you are, I don't think any of these bullets are relevant, so I think I need to make a new one. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. Yeah, because there was other injuries to her, so the knife wound might not have been the cause of death. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. 
We've already established that the coat was put on the body after the tarp was removed, which means when the knife was thrust through the coat into the body, the knife was thrust after the death. So, but Frank, it's not that. It's the same one that we gave to It really is, isn't it? Has to be this. I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it! Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, it is sad, is No! The title, the way it was murdered, was also disguised, I guess. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? The knife was through the coat. So, when we discovered the body, the knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. The victim was stabbed twice in the same spot? No, there's no way that's possible. The exact condition of the body was written down for everyone to see the Monokuma file. I got it. The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. And the knife... It's a cover-up. ...was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Which was probably whatever head wound was given. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but... Go on, then. What's the deal with that explosion, anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? Motion sensor. If you bothered to put that lump of grey matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. Ooh, ouch, Biakia. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particle cause an atomic level spontaneous combustion! Someone help this guy out. I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her, or we won't make any headway on this. There's only one exclamation I can think of for the explosion. Yeah, there were bits of trial that should be noted at the bomb, which have been removed and just disappeared. Uh, no. There were bits of charred debris in the body. It should be noted at the bomb, which have been removed from one of the gym and disappeared. Oh, it must be this. Yeah. After the explosion, he found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? Mm -hmm. That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know, I think like I've seen something like it somewhere before. You have. That's only natural. Because, of course, we saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. 
part of a bomb. Oh, then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Yeah. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. Right. And the only one who would benefit from that is Kyoko. Is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. She seems very calm, though. Hold on a second, Yakuya. Oh, we're gonna save her? What's the problem? Well, we've gotta get it right, I guess. Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. It's very true. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. Hey, my. Yoko. We need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. The head wound, I think. Yeah, the monochroma file. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, she was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't you because of the knife, right? There's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Shoot. Then, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah, she was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. The knife was a cover-up, and all those other wounds on her body weren't fresh. Which only leaves... The head wounds. Only leaves the head wounds. Shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? There we go. No, it's wrong! Mukuro died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? They didn't have anything to do with it? The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. But then, what was the murder weapon? Good point. The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blonde object about as thick as a metal pipe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe! If it was the pickaxe, then... It would have had blood on it for a start, but also there would be blood gushing out of her head at that point. How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it'd cave their skull in completely! <laughs> Said by the serial killer personality. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. <sighs> this dude. No way! The balance would be all off! You wouldn't be able to swing it with any 
kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. Oh my. No thanks. I bet you just hit me with a metal end and call it an accident. <laughs> I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground and, and spit on it. Oh my, Toko. Well, she's getting more towards genocide Jill in her Toko form. <laughs> I feel the same way. Looks like we're on the same page this time. Oh god. Seriously? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm surrounded by people that do actually want to kill each other now. <laughs> We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. Do we? We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master! So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? Okay. Kyoko seems silent. The real murder weapon... Is it the titanium arrows? Oh my god, it is. Rukuro was hit in the back of the head with something. And that's what killed her. I suppose it could be the 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 arrows. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. And blood was dripping onto the tape, I guess. the culprit attack Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds... kind of weird. I guess so. Hey! How dare you backtalk, Master! You have no right! I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. I don't blame Hina for downing it, because there's one more thing about that weapon. It's l well, it's made of titanium, but it's very thin. One more secret. It's a secret about the weapon. Okay. Bloody duct tape the woodblock, keep the titanium arrows. Duct tape or the arrows must be the bullet we need, unless we have to change it. Titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? Mm hmm. I have no doubt that was a murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, because in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to Master! You have no right! If it was just that titanium arrow, it wouldn't be nearly thick enough. Just why they use the titanium arrow. They're gonna know what it is now. The titanium arrow. Duct tape to make arrows. I have no doubt that was the They use the duct tape to tape off a bunch of arrows. You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Because in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? It seems like an arrow would just be there. No, it's wrong. You're right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. That's why the killer used another weapon. Uh huh. Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker, we also found a balled up wad of duct tape. <laughs> The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows together. Bundling them together using the duct tape would easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. Mm. One stick is weak, but put them together and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Damn, that's harsh. She, he means the way it was done here. Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker... Points to Kyoko. It was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. Well, why is the key in your room? Oh no, you absolutely have. 
can you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof, of course. Don't we, Makoto? Uh, oh, um... We do. Don't mess up. Hmm? What's the matter? Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all, remember? Yes, a point. Of course I remember. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. Da -da -da. I have evidence? Yes, you do. Evidence that Kyoko went to the dojo? It must be connected to that dojo locker. That's the key. I got it. The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. The key to the dojo locker. And how does that prove anything? It was in your room. Because I found it in your room. But Biakia has access to your room, though. That's the thing. Biakia has access to your room. It was in my room? Yeah, and you don't seem to recognize that fact, so that means it could have been Biakia. He planted it in your room. Don't bother trying to play dumb. That key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. Mm. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away, so just give up. I suppose he has a point, but the one flaw in your logic is that, Byakuya, you had the key to Kyoko's room as well. Hold on a sec. Yeah. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No, it's not that I want to defend her. It's just, there's one more thing I need to ask her. Oh, okay. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Okay. Oh. Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Yeah. Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just... protecting you. Hmm. What? She was protecting me? Then does that mean she... Attacked there. Uh, she knew I was being attacked. And she came to my rescue. So that means Kyoko definitely was in contact with the person that's died, Mukurui Kusaba. Could that be when. Which would mean that Kyoko. She killed someone for me? Uh, maybe. Time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Oh, is it? Wait. Oh, okay. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Oh, boy. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Here we go. Is she going to prove that it was Biak yet? Because... He could now be a possible suspect because he had access to her room. Can you tell me I'm wrong? Oh. I should know. Uh, okay. What? Yeah. Biakia should know better than anyone? Hmm. What does that mean? Let's find out. Make the argument. When the body was found, okay. 9 a.m. Those words you just spoke, what do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. 
You should understand that more than anyone here. Yahya, what are you hiding? Master Ravine never hides something from me! There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room, correct? But, could I really have done that? Wait, Kyoko gave her room key to Byakuya, right? Which would mean... You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room, correct? But... Could I really have done that? Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me! Oh, you might. There's proof that you aren't the killer. If I'm right, Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room. Yeah, that's true. Huh? Why not? Because Byakuya had the key. Because she had given her room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your room... Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Okay. Am I wrong? It would appear not. Hmm. Then you're finally starting to understand. Oh, is she going back to the idea that this is a trap? Da -da -da. No, that's not actually true. Oh wait, Makoto? There was a clear contradiction in what Kyoko just told us. An obvious lie. Oh, but this, this just isn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate lie. Dot, dot, dot. Does she really feel that threatened? Because she's the killer? Or is it something else? I think she wants to lead this to a mistrial somehow. Was there some deeper meaning hidden in what Kyoko said earlier? Maybe. If you vote for me, and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. This is a trap the Mastermind has laid for us. The Mastermind's trap. The Mastermind is trying to trap Kyoko? I think the Mastermind's maybe trying to trap all of you. But what if that's not really true? Hmm. What can I do? Ask her about herself, maybe? Oh, this is getting trippy. We're going upside down. What should I do? What should I? The Mastermind's trap. Whoa, we're hitting, we're going off on a different tangent right during the trial as well. The victim was Mukuro, and Kyoko killed her? What does Kyoko really know exactly? We don't know a lot about Kyoko. We don't know a lot about her at all. What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie? I'm the only one Oh, who knows it's a lie? You're gonna have to tell the truth then, I guess, dude. I'm the only one who can expose it. But who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The Mastermind's trap. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Oh, she's spelled it right, right out there for you. Take the risk and uh, solve the case. So I think you have to expose her lie. Am I wrong? 
What do I do? I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie. Uh, <laughs> run away. That run away is seriously an option. Uh, I don't know. Oh shit. Does this game have different endings? Um. Oh shit. But she's kind of said take a little risk. I think. Oh, I don't know. Pursue her. There was a lie hidden within Kyoko's statement just now. Oh. A lie? Isn't that right, Kyoko? Not saying anything. You said it. The burden of proof is on you. Oh. So let's hear it. Where's this lie, then? Okay. Kyoko is definitely lying, and it must be because... There's some other deeper truth she wants to keep hidden. Oh. Right, okay, let's find out. Kyoko's account. Oh, what she said earlier. What did she say earlier? Kyoko used Monokuma's secret tool which grants access to any room in the school. Sneak into the second floor of the domes. This area seems to have no more security cameras. Oh yeah, because so she was hidden in the second floor the whole time, so she couldn't have been involved. But she's not told anyone this. Because I've given it to Biakia. That's true. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. Oh, that's a lie. Master no, key. She could get into her room. No. Kyoko could have gotten into her room. You said so yourself, didn't you, Kyoko? Actually, to be precise, not quite. I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. What? Monokuma's secret tool? Kyoko stole it from the headmaster's room. It lets you get into any room in the school. Which means she could have used it to get into her own room. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. Then I guess that's it. Shit. Have I made the wrong decision? You're giving up just like that? You admit to killing- No, she's not gonna do that. No, I'm simply recognizing that I lost. What are you talking about? Like I said, this was a trap. And I wasn't able to escape it. Uh-oh, uh shit, did I make a bad choice? So I lost. That's all this means. So, have we sentenced Kyoko to death here? Sure. Then, are you saying you really didn't... Kyoko, you really... aren't the killer? Okay! Time's up! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Huh? There's a time limit on the trial? Well, I guess there is for us to work on it, but... I'm sorry to say, but your time is up! All done! All finished! The class trial is all over! But that's ridiculous! Since when is there any... It's because you were late! So the trial started late and time ran out! So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you! Oh, shit. But I guess we already know who the Blackened is, don't we? We don't. <laughs> oh, shit, what have I caused? Oh, no, Kyoko's guilty! Oh shit. Well then he'll reveal the outcome, won't he? So Kyoko's voted. 
Were we wrong then? <laughs> Good job. You got it right. She did do it. <laughs> Brilliantly right. We got it right? So Kyoko did kill Mukuro? Does that mean Kyoko really is the killer? But nah, it's a trap, isn't it? Something strange is going on here, yeah. There's something wrong with this whole class trial. I agree. Kyoko! Dot, dot, dot. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I've prepared an extra special punishment this time. Is everyone ready? Okay then! Shit, have, I really sent, have we really sent Kyoko to a death when she didn't do it? Oh, what the hell is going on? So Kyoko has been found guilty. Shit, are we really gonna witness Kyoko die? Oh no! She's going to get crushed to death. After school lesson. Oh man, really? I liked Kyoko as well. was dead. And that's how the class trial of Mukuru Ikusaba came to an end. I still had to wonder whether Kyoko was actually innocent or... Regardless, the truth was lost forever. Even for me. I just stopped thinking about it. That was the end of Mukuru's class trial. And in the end, it would prove to be our last class trial. Once that case was over, there was never a single murder at Oak's Peak ever again. Oh shit! We had obtained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. Oh shit, have I sent it down a path? Oh, what? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, they... Oh my god, this was predicted! Holy shit, this was predicted. Hero predicted that, I remember in the, uh, it was an episode ages ago that the Makoto and Hero would share the same mother of their children. And oh my God, I always had children with all of them. Oh, that's messed up. Peace, but only inside the school. Peace, but only for us. That was the only hope we had. Hope. Hope. Hope? Um, so I only see Byakuya, Makoto, Aoi, and Hiro and their children. Why is there only a picture of Toko? Toko died? This is hope? No. No, I don't... Yeah, I don't like this ending at all. This isn't right. Yeah, fuck that. Huh? Back at the trial, yes! I didn't like that ending whatsoever. Fuck that. Makoto, why are you staring off into space? Don't you have a rebuttal for Kyoko's claim? Yes. Thank you, game. Her claim? Oh, that's right. I have to. 
to expose Kyoko's lie or not? No. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Oh, avoid danger. Right. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? So we avoid, so in this case, to find out what's going on, we still risk it. We have to take a risk. She's not wrong. I have to think about this very carefully. What do I do? This side right here now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie. Right. I'm assuming let it go is the correct response, but I'm curious. Since we've apparently things can go back, what does run away mean? No, running away isn't gonna solve anything. I thought that would be the case. Yeah. Let it go. I've made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. Yes, I want to believe in Kyoko. I didn't know that would result in her death. Ugh. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? No. Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I guess so. But isn't this going to mean that the blame is going to move on to Makoto? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. Okay. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. Okay. But who else could it have been? Byakuya? Or the mastermind themselves? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? Yeah. You! What are you trying to imply? But Byakuya did it, possibly. But of course, I have an alibi. From night time on, I was with you guys the entire time. It's true. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone. Or put the key in Kyoko's room. Someone had to put the key in there. Well, yeah, that's very true. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. Makoto. It, it had to be Makoto, right? No, don't say that. I don't see any other option. Shit, really? Oh no. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? I don't think they do. I don't think they do, Monoku. Ooh, Monoku is being silent. Mukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead, and then we're thrown into a trial. It's true. And Kyoko even said it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be. Okay, time's up. Oh shit! He's to avoid it. Monokuma's calling time on the trial again. Huh? Time's up. <laughs> Class trials all over. Everyone can stop talking now. <laughs> it doesn't want to hear anymore. What? Time's up? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's... We've never seen that look on Makoto's face before, but yeah, he's obviously very worried now. What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we... Yeah. It's because you were late, so we had to push back the start time. Hmm. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. So, this is going to be... They're gonna vote for Makoto, aren't they? Voting time? They are, aren't they? They're gonna vote for Makoto. Oh, but I've got the right outcome now because it's grading me. Oh god, I got some... Oh, I still got an A overall. Oh, I'm happy about that, but I noticed I got a couple of C's there. 72. Uh, yeah. I didn't get a great A, so I didn't get like 90 or 100 coins. But okay, so I got the right result now, I guess. Now, who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Don't know. Let's find out. Hey, hold on. <laughs> He's very worried. 
What's it gonna be? They're gonna vote for Makoto, aren't they? Shit. Makoto's getting executed. What? So even Kyoko, vo it looks like it was unanimous. So even M Kyoko voted for him. What? You think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all your fault. Everyone, you're wrong. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do it. Yes, good job, everyone. G good job? Yep. Yeah? They got it right! Bullshit. No, I know that's not true. None of this makes any sense. This whole trial doesn't make any sense. Hey. It makes perfect sense! Shing. It's the same as always. It's just like all the other class trials, and I'm gonna end it the same way. Trials, trials, trials. It's time for your heart pounding, positively thrilling punishment! Well, wait, why do I? Oh, Kyoko's pissed. She knows that Makoto didn't do it. Kyoko! But then again, she voted for us. I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. Oh, you bitch. So, yeah, she voted for us as well. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Wow. So it ends here? Holy shit. Game over. Makoto has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Wow. Does it end here? Does he get the same punishment? He does. Wow, so Makoto's been found guilty and is being punished when... He didn't do it. This is bullshit. <laughs> Monokuma is explaining how he's going to die. After school lesson. Although, what is keeping Makoto from not leaving that chair? He doesn't look as if he's bound to that chair. Oh, oh wait. Alter Ego. Alter Ego stopped the machine. <laughs> Alter Ego stopped the machine from killing Makoto. And so he falls. What? So Makoto didn't die. What's this? What's going on? Hey, what's that? Uh, uh okay. yeah, it had to be. This is Alter Ego? Alter Ego? Is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all to hell. I don't believe this. It seems you finally made a miscalculation. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? What I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. 
What are you? Why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch, an itch. The stupid virus is gone now, got it? And so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never gonna see him again. Uh. Yeah! To waste away in a garbage strewn pit? In a way, that's an even better special punishment. Ooh. <laughs> but it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> and he's gone. Wow. So, ev well, not everyone else, but particularly Kyoko stabbed Makoto in the back because she knew Alter Ego was going to act, I guess? Wow, that's cold, though. Is he gone? <laughs> hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Yeah, she owes us an explanation. Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. In other words... Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. What did you say? What are you talking about? So... You'll understand soon enough. Very soon, indeed. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. What the hell now? What was Peak Academy? It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. This is the intro again, what the hell's going on? They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. Okay. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. But you got in because you're the ultimate lucky student. And yeah, he's kind of proven that. He's, he was the only one not to be executed from one of Monokuma's punishments. And standing at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Yeah, I was going to say, why are we seeing the intro again? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Mm. Are we really starting this again? Mm -hmm. well, what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? It wasn't any classroom I'd ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Dot dot dot. Gah! As he come to the realization, I've been here before. Finally, I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again, and then I was awake. Or was this just another dream? So is this remains of the original Hope's Peak Academy? Well, there's a, there's a destroyed Monokuma robot over there. A dream inside a hopeless nightmare? No, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest tint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high all across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there till I wasted away and died? Possibly, although I do see a door which does have a key. Well, keyhole. 
No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. Uh, you talking about Kyoko? I remembered all too well what had happened. Well, Alter Ego. Yeah, Alter Ego saved me. And he used up the last little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now. For myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First stop was to start looking for a way out of here. Holy crap, guys. What an episode. What a trial, guys. But um, yeah, we've, fin we we've come to the point where we've completed the trial. We're still in Chapter 5, Time Unknown now. So this may be the closing stages of Chapter 5, and maybe there's a Chapter 6, or perhaps Chapter 5 is the final chapter, and we're just going to continue it towards the end. I don't know guys, honestly don't know how long Rumpus the series was and how long the game is, so we'll get into into the next episode guys, but holy crap, and I can't believe one of the alternate endings, well it's like a bad end where Kyoko was executed and, but it revealed what uh, Hiro predicted where we shared, where Makoto and Hiro shared the same mother of their children Oh, it was predicted and it actually came to light in a bad reality. Holy crap, that was interesting. Uh, but yeah, so Makoto's stuck in the trash heap, but we've got to find a way out, so I'm sure we'll find out a way out in the next episode, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the series of Danganronpa on this channel at the moment and that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then maybe think about giving it a beautiful big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, don't forget to smash the subscribe button on my channel page as well, so you'll get uh, regular updates from me. Uh, and you'll also see all the videos for Danganronpa, but also all the previous videos for all the other series I've done so far. Um, also, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this episode, how you think it's gone so far, um, if you enjoyed it, and, well, what, how did you think that trial went, and what did you think of the trial? That was one of the, well, it's one of the best trials so far, but sounds as if that was the last class trial, so I don't know. Do they get to hope or do they get ultimate despair by the end we'll find out guys um so yeah we'll continue helping makoto out of the trash heap in the next episode guys so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye